This is Baseball History Daily, and I'm Tom, a baseball nostalgia enthusiast, and I'm just here to bring you a few minutes about today in baseball history. And here's my co-host, Robin, to jump into today's highlights. August 18, 1967, during the Red Sox impossible dream season, tragedy strikes when Tony Canigliaro is beamed by Angels Jack Hamilton. Hit just below his left eye, Canigliaro would miss the rest of the season and all of 68. The injury effectively ended the career of a player who by the time he was 21 had become the youngest in American League history and second youngest player in Major League history to hit 100 career homers. August 18, 1995, in a 9-2 Toronto win, Baltimore shortstop Cal Ripken plays in his 1208th consecutive game, passing Steve Garvey for the third longest streak in Major League history. August 18, 1995, after 39 years at the mic, Yankees announcer and Hall of Famer Phil Rizzuto retires as team broadcaster. The Scooter's retirement was prompted by a dispute with WPIX-TV, who refused to allow him to miss a game to attend the funeral of teammate Mickey Mantle. The voice of the Yankees would eventually return for the 1996 season. Taking full control of the game, Milwaukee pitcher Lou Burdett pitches a one-zip no-hitter against the Phillies, facing just 27 batters and scoring the game's only run. On August 18, 1906, Wee Willie Keeler strikes out for only the second time this season, falling both times to White Sox pitcher Ed Walsh's illegal spitball. In 1902, the first unassisted triple play ever in a professional game is executed by first baseman Hal O'Hagan of the Rochester Broncos against Jersey City. And Roberto Clemente was born on this day, August 18, 1934. That was August 18, this day in baseball. Our extensive collection of radio broadcasts captures the game's most iconic moments. They are retold to you by those who lived it. These broadcasts narrate more than just a game. They paint a vivid picture of the era and the legends that shaped it. Have a quick listen. Brought to you direct from Comiskey Park. Speaking to you from Crosley Field in Cincinnati. This is Ernie Harwell at Memorial Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. We're at Maven Field. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. Today we're out at the Polo Ground, that historic old home of the New York Giants, nestled in the lee of Coogan's Bluff on the island of Manhattan. Hi there, everybody. This is Rob Geiner. Welcome to another big league game from Houston, Texas, here at Colt Stadium. And now good afternoon, everyone, to baseball fans everywhere. This is Bill Slater with Al Helfer and Bill Corum greeting you from Briggs Stadium in Detroit. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, Mr. Sportsman. Welcome you to another baseball broadcast. Brought to you direct from Wrigley Field. Well, it's another beautiful day here in Yankee Stadium. This is Ben Scully along with Jerry Doggett and Al Helper inviting you to stay with us now. Excited to start listening to some of these games? Just come on over to members.thisdayinbaseball.com and join us today. As we wrap up today's show, thank you, Robin, for today's highlights. Uh, you can find her uh, for voiceover work at robinsays.com. And if you enjoy the podcast, please help me out and do one of three things. Follow, subscribe this podcast and leave a review. It really helps. Share us with your baseball friends. Uh, let them know about us. Or jump over to members.thisdayinbaseball.com. Join our email list, community, and our family of baseball podcasts.